hello to my lovely viewers, it's BNG. Thank you for tuning to my One Piece Banter Rush video. And today, well, Bando made an announcement for some new adjustments. So in other words, we're going to get a couple of characters getting a buff, which is good. So we can actually use some of the old characters instead of just kind of always waiting for the new characters to compete in the meta. But with old characters getting a new... Uh, upgrades adjustments it makes them at least sort of like allow us to play back some old characters be a bit more competitive so the three characters only this time uh not a lot of them but three is pretty much at least get it started the three character that's going to get the adjustment is of course the uh, paramount war luffy and ace kind of the, the first dual unit well you could say it's just a mix of able to use both the character skill and then of course we do get the original king of the pirates goldie rudier the green attacker unit which is a uh, been a long time he's been out for nearly two years now and um he's been just hanging around still kind kind of usable but with the new units they he just basically get, get overpowered by them but now with the buff i have kind of read a little bit of it and it's quite good and then we will be getting the paramount war or the seven warlord um Jinbei so the original OG Jinbei is getting a buff as well so which is really good so he can actually compete now so let's just go ahead and have a look at the updates and just go through them so this is the one and this um, implementation and upgrade buff will be able to use from this day which is the 13th of August so it's next Tuesday itself so which is really good and these are the three characters as you see so what is it? They will generally increase the attack range, faster evasion times and dodging, and also their skill 1 and 2 will able to be go a bit more faster, and also their, um, well, distant and all that will be adjusted according to this list here. So let's just have a look at the first character, Roger himself. So Roger, skill 1, originally is just a normal Kamal Sari just throw at people's face with a strong uh, skill attack and does give you um reduce your enemy's defenses as well cooldown time is not too bad and then now the upgrade is uh he nullifies stagger for set period time of using it and you become temporary invincible now so <laughs> it's free uh Kamal Sari throwing it at people and it does attack uh, increase the attack range so it probably covers more area and it does um increase the distance of the flinch when enemy are hit so it's pretty much mean it doesn't knock you back but you do fall back a bit more further uh, and also of course it will throw a bit more quicker and it doesn't do not back this time and one key thing is i'm i'm gonna be afraid is that he's gonna uh, ignore uh, obstacles so it can go through walls just like the dark ex rogers kamusari so you have to be careful with this one so pretty much the og kamusari will guarantee hitting you unless you can dodge it so yeah just be careful with that and he can just rapidly build up his buff uh his attack increases then um if he want to attack you through the wall let's just say something like arlon park with that gate he can just throw it through it and it hits you free of charge and then skill two uh so this one was the charging skill but the only difference now is um it does uh sort of like increases attack range so it had probably going to land even further away so you have to be careful with that and the cooldown has gone down a little bit then his adjustment on his uh his um traits so if he has 50 percent or more he can in he can nullify immobilization status effect so in other words like uh tremor um shock uh anything that stop you from moving as long as he got 50 percent or more then he can't get uh, inflicted with that which is deadly as well so if he um managed to in nullified status effect he does get a defense buff instead originally just stun but now anything but with that 50 percent or more he guarantees you keep getting those 70 percent defense increase so it could be very tanky uh then the new one is for set period time uh when you skill two you resist dagger being down and not back this time and status effect so originally you don't get that resist dagger and down and not back so originally the only way you could stop that in the past is to knock uh, Roger back while I was charging it but this time he can't do anything he will actually throw that skill at you so I would say when you see him use that avoid hitting him and then the other final traits oh no there's more uh, when attacking someone where is parameter boosted uh, you do do 
It's 30% more damage. But this time, uh, you got the ability to remove it this time. Uh, so yeah, have fun with that. That will basically, Spillman and Shanks could not avoid this anymore. Uh, when dealing damage to his, uh, damage to an enemy with 70% or more HP, uh, inflicts Nova Stagger. And now this time, originally 10 seconds, now it's 20 seconds more. Uh, this didn't change. And when attacking an enemy uh, with skill 1, you do... Oh, this time it's 25% increase, not 20%. So that means only you need to throw 4 Kamusari or you hit 4 people with your skill 1, you're guaranteed 100%. And then plus recover HP uh, equal to... Oh my goodness, man. So the Kamusari can recover your HP now just throwing at people. <laughs> Damn. Uh, for when your team... Oh, that isn't change. Uh, after KOing an enemy, reduce skill 1 by 30%. And now you get recover 30% as well. So you've got two ways of recovering HP. Uh, the character check went off. Okay, this one didn't change. All right. Now Jinbei, the 7 Warlord version. So he's going to get a HP attack and defense increase. And of course, all of these changes as well. But in other words, um, the OG Jinbei will be able to fight more faster now. And it's, everything's going to be updated. So skill 1. Attack, uh, faster attack if activation, yeah, because before it was very slow and attack range is more and faster evasion time, faster transition time, so everything's been upgraded. Then the skill has increased and does do two consecutive hit, it hits instead of one, um, so it does increase his uh, skill power a bit more on the second hit, so that's pretty much like that. Then the skill two, uh, that will have everything in increase, it will make it faster now, and this is the one that not backs people as well. Then the character trait that's increased, okay, or changed when attacking the character with power user. Um, and increased power skill 2 by 5%. Oh, oh, okay, so we can stack up. Uh, oh, interesting. So you can actually, if you keep attacking power user, which quite a lot now, you've got someone like um, uh, S-Snake, you've got the uh, Awakened Luchi, Kaku, a lot of power users you can fight, uh, and that's including gear 5 to stack up the skill 2. So you pretty much use that skill to guarantee not a one shot those enemies uh when attacking the enemy's power use it again and you do get five percent hp recovery uh by using skill one i guess yeah oh attacking anyway okay when that, the enemies have inflicted with static effect uh you get skill two cooldown and hp recovery oh that's good that's good so it's not completely uh useless <laughs> with this jimbei jimbei is gonna have a lot of good time now in this meta Reduce the effect time of status effect inflicted by uh, enemies by 80%. Oh, damn. He's got the same ability as the um, Awakened Luchi. So, and also uh, EX. Uh, who is it? Oh, EX. I just suddenly forgot. It's EX Whitebeard. So, yeah. Uh, and then this one. When your team has less treasures, increase uh, the dam damage by 20% and reduce damage. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. And in the last 90 seconds remaining, you do get a skill 1 cooldown. Uh, 100% so you keep spamming your skill 1 and you can get more 20% more damages. Of course, that's the original one. When your HP is more than 70%, resist stagger and minions not back as well. Damn, I think this Jinbei will make a comeback because the current Jinbeis are not bad. The Defender Jinbei is good, but um, it's been struggling with this, those um, EX Dark Roger. And the surprising one is the Paramount War Luffy. So I don't know. Well, it's it, I think it's guessed for the the starter players. Then um, it does get all of these increase. So it basically, just makes him up to date. Then his skill one, so fast activation, and that's the flame punch that he uh, combines with Ace. Uh, so it does uh, increase damage and it towards it increase the distance. So you basically, they're not back. You hit them further away, and you do have everything updated. You do not back this time. And of course, uh, 42 second navy. Oh, you do 100% damage towards navy units. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, add stagger notification for set period of time when you skill two. Okay, that's okay. Stagger, not not status. It's stagger. So if you just basically jump, and that's the one that you charge on two people. So everything's just updated. Then the traits. So I oh know in the past this one, uh, so this one will just basically put this one in together, shock and all by entrance. Uh, while you're capturing, you do resist being staggered and down as well. But of course, you can't get, uh, you can get knocked back, but you also get damage reduction, which is good. Skill one, you get a twenty percent uh, attack increase. Okay, not bad. And then skill two, you get speed increase. All right, and when in your treasure area. When in the treasure in the treasure area, reduce the damage by thirty percent, which is good. When uh, your allies are near the treasure area, uh, increase the capture, increase the capture gauge amount when you capture, and also fifty percent capture speed as well, which is good. This one didn't change, and every time you capture a treasure, you do get uh, 
30% skill one quarter and 20% HP recovery, which is actually, I think, yeah, it makes them uh, all three of them more rele relevant now. The most exciting one for me is, of course, is Luigi and Jinbei, then maybe a Paramount War Luffy. So I think uh, the Roger is going to be the most popular one. Uh, he makes a return now to with his new powers, and I'm... Not looking forward to face this new Roger and uh, new upgrade dated Roger because you will be uh, concerned him that uh, he's going to throw those caramel sorry all over the place. You can't avoid it anymore uh, unless you can time it right and dodge it, but it's going to go uh, everywhere. So Roger, king of the pirates, it's going to make a return and the rest, <laughs> we'll just have to say good luck to everyone now. All right, guys, thank you for hearing me taking you through the upgrade and um, hopefully we'll be looking forward to it. It's going to happen on the 13th of August and we will just get the new, uh, get things back interesting again. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I'll catch up in the next video then. See ya.